Hi guys, this is Bub back with a Backwoods Uncle Bub's Bushcraft, and uh, we're in the back of my property today, where a huge old pine was blown over a couple of seasons ago, and uh, I, I figured I'd give a try at collecting some pitch wood uh, or fat wood, whatever you want to call it. It's the sap impregnated part of the wood. It's supposed to take a spark real well and um, light fires right up so I figured I'd try to harvest some that most people say they're getting the most fat wood out of either the base of the tree near the stump or the uh, base of the limb you know the biggest part that grows right into the trunk so I figured today since it's so prevalent in the base of the limbs and the and the base of the trunk that uh, I was actually going to harvest some of these uh, roots over here they're up. I figure if uh, it's prevalent in the base, then it's got to be prevalent in the roots. So I'm going to cut a couple of these off and split them up and see if we strike gold. <laughs> All right. We'll go ahead and cut some of these up and we'll get right back with you. All right. We're around to the base of the tree here. And I am going to cut this big old root right here off. Then uh, split her up and see if we can find pitch wood. I will be using a my folding saw here. This is just a cheap Fiskars locking saw. Nothing fabulous about it. And we'll be using my kitchen cutlery bushcraft knife. Still rocking the vinyl sheath. It's holding up real well. Really enjoying it. So we'll be using my free kitchen cutlery bushcraft knife. And A baton and with these few tools we should get this limb or I'm sorry this root right off here all right let's get started we're gonna start out using the locking saw Alright, there we have it. We got our root. I'm going to uh, cut this up into manageable sections and split it up with our knife. So, let's get on that. Alright guys, we moved on up the way a bit. Uh, up onto a little higher ground here. We're right next to the creek. The, I don't know if you can still see the tree right down there. But, <laughs> there really wasn't any even ground to work on. Not to mention uh, mosquitoes, pretty bad. So uh, we moved a ways up to some higher ground, a bit more level, and we got a little area cleaned out here, and we're going to get to work. I've got here just a piece of old wood I'm going to be using as a as a cutting block. And in addition to the wooden root you saw me harvest, I went ahead and harvested another one. So we're going to all this into more manageable pieces and then baton it up and hopefully have some fat wood. Okay. Okay, we're back and we have several pieces cut. And we're going to baton through them and see if we can find some sap wood. Got my trusty knife here. Get a good base. Get my baton. That's not my baton. Get my baton. <laughs>
This is some really tough stuff, guys. I did not anticipate this. Well, it's been about 10, 15 minutes worth of banging on this thing, and I haven't even, I haven't even gotten halfway through it. So, I'm going to uh, whittle out a wedge here and use the wedge to split it the rest of the way instead of my knife. Let's see how this works. Okay. I got my little chisel whittled out here. I'm going to put it in the little cut I've already made with my knife here. If it'll go in there. And uh, pound it in with my beaten stick. Now hopefully this will work just like a swedge when you're chopping lumber. And it'll split it wide open. if it doesn't bust apart first. Well, it broke. Actually broke off down in there. No problem though. I'll just cut another angle on this piece that's left over. And then I'll wedge it in right here where the splits are going starting down the piece of root. Hopefully, we'll get this split open before the end of the day. And hopefully find some pitch wood down in there. This stuff better be worth it, I tell you. It's not like batoning through a, a stem or anything like that. This, this is some tough stuff. I need more wedges. I've already broke two off in here, and uh, it's barely even got a split started. This is some tough stuff. I was not expecting this. Ow. Man, you gotta watch where you're swinging that. I should have known better. It's been about 15, 20 minutes of batoning, and I'm just this far through. This is ridiculously hard stuff. I sure hope there's fat wood in this. Otherwise, this was just one momentous exercise. But hey, you don't know if you don't try. It's all part of the fun. <laughs> We're about through. Let's give it a couple more whacks.